All right, hey guys, we're going to be taking a look at the new Grand Blue Fantasy version 1.21 update. And I have uh, Ira over here, who is uh, one of the players that we play with, and uh, our guild master in Grand Blue, Grand Blue Mobile. Hey, Julie Beans, thanks for the follow. Okay, let's take a look at the new content here. So let me zoom this in for you guys. Are you guys able to see this pretty well? All right. Uh, new content added to uh, challenging quests. Uh, so these are like the, the uh, Unite and Fight unite and fight quests that they already announced uh during the live stream and then the new characters uh see if i'm trying so i'm not gonna go, we're not gonna talk about this too much because we already we already saw this all the new new sigils new trophies uh up to 30 tra yeah the new um batch batch transmutations and uh rewatch the end credits oh this is this is a nice touch added the option to watch uh the credits from the from the um the opening screen there. All right, general environmental factors such as strong winds, ground tremors should no longer interrupt players who have uh, active stout heart. Oh, that's that's interesting. Apply. Uh, this also applies to non-star heart effects that prevents interruption from foe attacks. What's up, Iron? That's a good change. Yeah, that it is. Really, yeah, really annoying. Really good. Ooh, improve the visibility. Ooh, I okay. Let's 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 go down the list. I got a little excited there. Got a little excited there. Um. Okay. Here we go. Uh, increased the radius of stun damage dealt to uh, increased the radius of stun damage dealt to uh, foes upon a successful perfect guard. Okay, uh, it's okay, I guess. Uh, mm, yeah. Perfect guard's kind of not really that good, so I mean, I have no problem with that. It's, it seems fine. Improve the visibility of visual indicators for successful perfect guards performed by party members. Oh, th I mean, I guess that's kind of good because then you can see if your party members do it. So you can flex a little bit. Everyone can see that you do it. This one is huge. Improve the visibility of the damage numbers that have hit their damage cap. It's got like a sort of like X on it now, like a cross out. Yeah, that's this is really good because it was kind of hard to see with just the golden aura. So the cross out, this is definitely a very good change for the visibility and the kind of the readability of the game. Uh, when battle camera, uh, when battle camera cor uh, correction set off, the camera should no longer automatically point towards the originator of the chambers. Oh, was this like part of what was causing a lot of the camera stuff? Interesting. Fix the bug where tyranny trait effect uh, wasn't applying properly to skybound arts. Okay. Fix the bug where boosts an amount of link level gained effect by link together wasn't uh, properly applying to scout or skybound arts. Uh, intermittent bug where Eugen's sticky grenade failed to fill SBA. Party members with a skill that that can revive will no longer automatically cast that skill on a player who enters critical condition and has the... Oh, okay. I guess this is for... This is for bots, basically, when you're running AI. Uh, yeah, they, they won't I, try I to revive so. you if you have auto revive. Yeah. Fix the bug under certain conditions, cause the player to continuously guard despite only pressing the guard button once. All right, here we go. So here's the, a lot of the battle changes here. Uh, the, the balance changes throughout here. Okay. Let's start up at the top with uh, Captain, Gron, and Jita. Fix the intermen and bug where the damage cap of decimate would be superseded by other uh oh they're oh oh my god did they fix all of these they, they, they fixed most of these before but they, for some reason they forgot to fix the the captain one yeah interesting yeah this is th this was kind of like really strong they, they had the same problem with uh zeta right with the infinite wonders uh possibly i know like the, the percival one was also the personal, personal one was like the most egregious one. Mm -hmm, yeah. They fix, they fix that one uh, right away. Yeah. Match. In uh, Catalina, environmental factors such as strong winds and ground tremors uh, should no longer be able to cancel Ares' summoning during Ares' prex strike. That's good. Incre uh, increase the amount of uh, gauge gained by the Ares gain up mastery. No, one? that one, that one should be massive. So the, one of the problems with Catalina is that if you do, you like have a, you're short by one, a, right? Like one yeah, point. You're, yeah, you're, you're like a little bit short. So hopefully with this, you can get like a, a half bar with one combo. Yeah, yeah, it was really, really weird because when whenever Catalina was doing her combos, you would always end up with like one little sliver like off, and it was it was always kind of weird that 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 occurred. Uh, thanks for the follows. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. 
uh, fixed intermittent bug that under certain conditions cause uh, guardian honor trait not to work properly. Do you know what this is? Gu guardian honor trait? I actually don't. Um, I'm, I'm this is the this is sigil, see, right? Like, yeah, yeah. But I'm, there, there's two, right? So. Yeah. Rackham mm. increased bull eyes blast damage cap based on charge level. Uh, increase the damage cap of well timed. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well timed square attacks and the damage cap of launch attacks. Increase bullet hails damage cap. I guess is this to like kind of make it uh make it's kind of to make him because they 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 didn't fix the thing with him right the so, the issue. So I guess this is to kind of bring his dam rather than nerf that. They're like let's bring all of his damage up so that it can maybe match it so you can actually play him like normally i, I i'm guessing that's what this is because this is kind of like an overall damage buff so rather than reducing his damage they were like let's buff everything else to make it less uh less necessary oh air rackham was fixed last patch okay but see that was uh, like one of the main reasons to take rackham right it was because he had that bug so this is probably just like a nice increase to his damage Added a boost. Okay, for, here's for you. Here's who I know a lot about. Um, added a boost to start Sargis uh, charge speeds effect to enhance Mystic Vortex length time mastery node. To enhanced Mystic Vortex. Okay. Concentration now grants debuff immunity. Furthermore, whenever EO EO gains Mystic Vortex orb within the concentration. Yeah, concentration was kind of. It was kind of meh. Like, you could kind of use it, but it was way too hard. And, like, it wasn't really better. Um, So, if whenever she, you get a Mystic Vortex Orb within Concentration, you gain the maximum number instead. Okay, well, that, that actually makes it kind of more, a lot more usable. Yeah, interesting. We'll have to see. But then again, like, you didn't really use it for that reason, for, like, the full charge. So it'll be kind of... We'll have to actually lab the numbers here. Because the way you used Concentration before was just, like, always having the Mystic Orbs. You would basically cast level 1 Orbs over and over again. So it'll be really interesting to see, like, how you would use this. Shorten the Mystic Vortex's cooldown. Okay, good. Yeah, it was, it was too high for it. Incre oh, <laughs> this one's good. Increase Flowery 7's damage cap when it's fully charged. Because Flowery 7 before, the damage cap didn't matter. So it was always better to just slam slam the, the Flowery 7 and cancel it. You didn't actually want to ever charge it. Which is kind of dumb gameplay-wise. Because like you would assume like it's better to charge the Flowery 7. So this actually might make it a lot more uh a lot more important to charge it a lot more viable to charge it rather than to like cast flowery seven insta cancel so this is really neat i like that increased detonators damage cap based on charge level anyone know detonator do you know detonator i don't actually know much about Oigan. i don't, didn't really play him uh i don't know enough either to know yeah. what that is yeah we don't really any any Oigan players know at all His charge shot skill. His charge shot. Oh, oh, so it's just similar to kind of what they did with the Rackham. I mean, it is a good change that like, because damage cap exists, it should increase as things charge. Otherwise, um, you know, as we know, the damage cap is easily is easily reached. So damage cap becomes better. Um, and this this is just this just makes it so that it's actually worth charging it. Otherwise, it's not worth it at all um rosetta added a uh, boost rose attack do you know how, how about these are uh, i'll read them off uh, added yes. boost to rose attacks frequency and always plants the maximum number of roses effects to enhance roses uh, link time mastery yes i mean th th this is the thing that happens when you enter link time mm -hmm. so now uh, so what i'm guessing this means that when you plant a rose during link time you plant the maximum amount of roses instantly Oh, okay. I'm assuming. So that way, like, like you don't have to worry about, like, did I position the roses in the right spot for the, the link time, right? This, this basically yeah. gives it to you. Yeah. That's a good change. Increase the damage cap of attacks dealt by planted roses based on the roses level. Increase spiral roses damage cap. 
uh, based on the level of planted roses. Increase love loss damage cap based on the, the level of planted roses. And then fix a rare bug that causes Rosetta. I mean, what do you think of these damage increases first? I mean, she needs it. I, I, I swear lost love already had had that, but actually maybe it was only, maybe it was only damage. It's possible. But I mean, a she needs the damage. damage. Yeah, yeah. 33 Fix days I mean, especially considering like how inconsistent her damage is and like how much effort it takes to actually get it off. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Raoku. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Uh, fix a rare bug that caused Rosetta to act differently, uh, from the player inputs after using Rose Tycoon. I've never seen that. Fix the bug that caused a damage cut effect by Rose Barrier to not work properly. Okay. I mean, just good, good bug fixes here. All right, Fairy, here we go. Increase the damage cap of certain sequences of her charged attacks. Huh, okay. Is this again, like, gonna be similar to what I was talking about with Rackham, where, like, let's like kind of make a lot of her other playstyles more viable uh fix the bug under certain conditions we're casting purge spirits with summon more pets than intended so this is gonna be interesting because like the thing is with these like kind of these buffs we don't actually know how much right it, it, they're not they're not telling us they're not telling us the from this to this so we don't know so it, for all we know, it could be like, you know, a 0.01% increase, or it could be like a 30% increase. We, 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 we literally don't know. So we'll, or this is stuff that we're going to have to see, like how it plays out in game. Um, Naru increased the damage cap. And also, uh, if you didn't see it yet, Naru got a really good change where they are going to show the number of butterflies she has on screen, which is something they didn't have previously. That, that's a 1.3, I believe, isn't it? In 1.3, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. It might be 1.3. That is a really good change, though, when they do add that. Like, God, dude. That was really necessary. It's kind of hard to see. Increase the damage of Dawn, Dawnfly's stance combo uh, finishers and uh, damage of Dawnfly's charge stance accounts. Okay. I mean, it's kind of kinda funny because uh, it, it is kind of weird, but then the thing is, is people tried to get out of that stance, right? Usually. So that might be what this is about to kind of bring it yeah. up. I mean, it, it, it's kind of, it's still kind of weird to like buff the damage of like <laughs> almost the highest DPS character. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no, what it might be doing is just making it right. Because uh, if they buff, see, if it says increase of certain sequences, it might be they're buffing the sequences so that you don't have, so that like maybe her intended gameplay is like the chain combo right and then if you are constantly trying to flip back into purple because of this because of um how her damage was set up this might just make it so it's even does that make sense I, depending on okay, the numbers like, right I'm, I'm not like i'm not an expert but like i i believe even even like the current naro you still use like the yeah well the dawn twice charge and finisher yeah well again it depends on what segments they're talking about right no, we'll I'm talking about Namaya, not, not Fairy. Oh, shoot. No, yeah, no, no. That's what I meant for these, sorry. I just highlighted the wrong one. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, like, from from the... What I know about Nermaya, like, these... The, the, the things they're buffing mm -hmm. were things you use in, like, the normal Nermaya combo. Hmm... So like that is weird though. The if they did, combo of, if like, they did the buff, highest DPS character in they the also game. increase sets in those damage cap based on the charge level. Like I get like the theme here. Like this is also on um, this is also on Oigen and uh and Eo and on Rackham. So I see the consistency they're trying to build here, where like it, it does. But yeah, it does. It it is just like a flat buff, right? Interesting. I see what you mean, though. Like, from a balance standpoint, it doesn't make sense to increase your damage. No. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the intent is here, actually. Now, you know, I, I wonder. I mean, I'm, I was trying to give them, like, the benefit. I was trying to, like, kind of logic out, like, why they would do this. Right? And, it, like, it makes sense to me, like, if they didn't like the idea of Naru players not fulfilling the full combo... We'll have to see with this. She's popular, so they buffed her. Vayne. Vayne can now start an attack following a link attack more quickly. Oh, that's good. 
Uh, added boost, attack power, and damage cap effects. Enhanced beatdown gauge, link time, mastery node. Increase the damage cap for certain combos. Uh, energy destruction is dam damage cap based on how full SB uh, Vayne's SBA is. And fix the bug uh, that caused effects granted by en uh, enhanced beatdown. Mastery does not work properly. I don't know too much about Vayne to actually comment too much on this. I, I don't either. Yeah. Percival increased the damage cap of charged attacks, uh, increased, increased uh, Rotor Warble's damage cap, and Adrenaline Rush support skill now grants a proportional boost to uh, slash ch uh, charge speed when charged um, when charged after attacks that aren't combo finishers. You never used this beatdown combo mm -hmm. before? Yeah, I don't really play the Dragon Knights. So I'll be 100% real. Um, let's see. In so for Siegfried ad adjusted the enhanced uh, square attacks link time mastery node to allow Siegfried to perform perfect executions during link time. Okay, that's, I mean, that's kind of cool. Kind of uh, filling into a stand with like the perfect timing, make it a little bit better. I increase the damage cap of certain well-timed attacks. Increases, uh, dude, this is all buffs. <laughs> I don't think they nerfed anybody. They're like, let's just give everyone buffs. Fuck it. They needed it. Cagliostro added boost attack power and damage cap effects to enhance charging for link time mastery. Increase the damage cap of certain um, attacks performed in combo D. Combo D is hammer, right? Combo D is hammer. Yes. Combo D is hammer. Increase mimic doll's damage cap and Alexandria's damage cap. Okay. Sure. Yoda added and always performs the shortest combo effect to the enhanced triple shroud. Uh, increased a damage cap of successful counters. Trigger for tit for tat. Increased flashing voids damage cap based on the number of triple shroud marks that Yoda has. Increased sky sh shatters damage cap based on the number of triple shroud marks. And fixed certain bugs that didn't that caused tit for tat to work properly. I don't really know much about Yoda either. And I don't think chaos is online. So. Oh, here we go. Zeta added a boost to all damage dealt by Zeta effect to Arvis for Mara's status effect. Wait. Is that different? What does this mean? Isn't that what it did already? It's been a while since I've played, guys. Hmm. That's pretty big, though. Um, the supplemental... Oh, it's like supplementary damage. Oh, you're right. You're right. Increases the damage of loop combos. And increased Wing Clipper's damage cap. Yeah, Wing Clipper was kind of meh. So, nice, yeah. Riz, uh, uh, Vasaraga, actually. Did, did Vasaraga get a buff after last... It's again like I I don't really remember. I didn't play much last patch. Did Vasaraga get a buff after they removed his fast charge thing, where you could uh, cancel cancel to do like skip? You can cancel the combo to skip straight to like the big meaty hit. They didn't buff him, right? No, uh, no. But they, they, I think they they fixed the skill canceling. I, I believe you can still do the normal attack cancel. No, all they did was they made it so he doesn't get the buff anymore. Yeah, yeah, you, you can do this. Yeah, you can do the skill canceling into the charge attack. We can still cancel your normal attacks into charge attacks. Oh, I see. Okay. I believe. Added erases the damage cap of charged. Okay, charge attacks. Uh, effect to enhance charging. Um, Broaden the charge attacks charge faster. Effect by quick charge trait. A lot of this stuff, like, I wish they would give us the numbers, you know? Like, it's kind of hard to say if any of this is actually meaningful. Increased Skybound Art Damage Cap. And then the last changes are for id. Environmental, so it's like uh, the environmental thing is um, kind of similar to Catalina. Where it uh, makes it so you don't, you don't get cooked mm -hmm. out of that. Um, added the shortened skill cooldowns upon landing a combo finisher. Ring and Laves, a dude, he just got a full <laughs> buff to God Might, like yes, everything, everything in God Might buff, guys. 
Yeah, it got a lot of busts. But again, like we don't know, right? Because there's no numbers here. So it's really hard to, to you know, again, this is a very preliminary look at it. We're just looking at the patch notes. It's hard to say when we can't see the numbers. We don't know how much this means. Where God that goes a fucking dead, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no one cares about God that goes literally it's not really in here. Up. The character that we're, actually we're needed buff, it. <laughs> we're gonna buff the most clunky character and then they buff Nermai over God yeah. that that's actually oh, no. hilarious this is like actually actual disrespect guys actual side games disrespect for gonda goza mm. players that's gonna even, be my even, thumbnail even guys the devs don't care about gonda goza. that's gonna be my my thumbnail guys absolute disrespect of gonda goza. <laughs> All right, other items here add an ease of use indicator for uh each character oh, oh that's cool so like you can kind of tell before you get them uh, adjusted the a, a timing for the quest music. All right. Fixed above various bug fixes. Sigils obtained from claim add-ons at the knickknack shack will now be automatically locked when claimed. All right. Well, I mean, that that's it. The big news here is that uh, they hate going to go. <laughs> that's the main news here. Uh, very interesting patch. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Again, it's gonna be very difficult to tell how it is now. We're gonna have to see. Uh, it's gonna. We're gonna have to see how update how it plays out. Here. Update time here. Wait, there's an update already. No, I think I think it means like what time it releases. Oh, okay. It's releasing at. Uh, uh, that, this is this is a good thing. Thank you, thank you, Julio, for that. Um, so last thing is, it looks like the patch is going to be live at 10 p.m pacific so that's gonna be that's yeah, gonna be uh today today at 10 10 p.m pacific so i guess i'll see you tomorrow for grand blue fantasy Pull dude all right you'll be awake for that you'll be up you, you might have to get up like like an hour early uh yeah I mean, it's like an pacific, hour like one hour time. yeah that's like uh that's six hours and 40 ago uh yeah Six yeah, hours of forty, oh yeah. Man, that's wild. Yeah, that should be fine. That that's wild. Be fine. Oh man. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Um, I stream on Twitch.tv a lot. I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow as well. So, peace out.